And we are back. Thanks for coming back, guys. I hope you had a great weekend. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about the Sony a6500 and just the kit lens, the 16 to 50 millimeter. Some of you guys might be thinking that the Sony a6500 is not relevant anymore, but I still think it is a great camera. And especially if you're just starting to get into video and filmmaking, especially sports videography, I think the Sony a6500 is still a great deal. You can find a few different bundles on amazon.com that come with this kit lens and another lens, the 55 to 210 and a bunch of SD cards or filters, little tripods. So I still think that this camera is relevant and can still produce some great things. Today I just wanted to show you a little film that I did for my friend Dakota, who I've mentioned before, who's training for a USA powerlifting meet that is coming this August up in Philadelphia, I think, somewhere in Pennsylvania, not totally for sure. Anyways, this is a pretty big week for him. He's trying to hit a few different numbers on his lifts, and I wanted to capture that, and we'll also check out this film, and he'll tell you a little bit more about his goals for the week. And so this is part one of his big week. There'll be a part two coming out later this week, talking about how the week went and if he was able to hit the numbers that he wanted. So let's check out the film real quick, and we will come back after it. This week I need to hit a PR double on my back squat and it's gonna be a high percentile because my competition max was 551 and I gotta hit 545 for a, a double and then I gotta actually hit a one rep max for my uh, deadlift this week as well. Kind of just, I'm trying to hit like a mid training cycle peak week um, because the taper's kind of coming up soon. We're like 10 weeks out from the meet. So I wanna make sure I can hit some big numbers now and then taper for the meet in order to feel fresh for the meet. Things are kind of moving heavy and slow right now. Mid training cycle peak and then I can just kind of taper back the volume um, and get ready for the meet. So this is kind of like the last heavy push up to the meet. back hope you enjoyed that little film definitely cool to watch Dakota and see the progress that he's made ever since I've been here at the university for over four years now he's always impressed me with his hard work and dedication but that aside that isn't what this video is about that's just a little side note so a little backstory about this film is it's all shot in 4k 24 frames per second, just in case you're wondering. I could have shot a lot of this film in 120p, but I preferred the 24 just for a more cinematic feel. And I didn't really want to slow anything down. I wanted all the shots to be in real time so you could see the speed, but then also the struggle on those heavier lifts. I tried to create a story at the beginning with him just talking about 
his goals for the week. And then I also try to create a story within the lifting section of the video, like the intro of him getting ready and then building up to like the climatic part of him having that big heavy lift and then try to leave a little cliffhanger right before his lift that would hit his goal that he mentioned earlier. So that was kind of my thought process. I think it turned out decent. So going back to the Sony a6500, it's 4K is really good looking. It's 120p, isn't as crisp as some of the new cameras. Definitely comparing it to my brother's A7 III, it doesn't look as nice, but it still looks pretty good. Especially if you have good lighting, this camera doesn't perform the best in low light that I've noticed. The weight room in person looks like it's lit pretty well, but once you bring the camera out and with this kit lens, not being a super fast lens, only opening up to 3.5. It just doesn't bring in enough light. This lens kind of struggles there, but being able to boost the ISO a little bit, I still think it produces a pretty good picture. And as you've been able to tell with my earlier videos with lacrosse, I think it does really well outside. I need to get an ND filter for outside because I've had to bump up the shutter speed a lot or you know really close that aperture to be able to not be overexposed. So an ND filter would definitely make my shots look a little bit better, but overall I still think it looks pretty nice and is able to do really well for sports videography. So just to wrap it up, I just wanna say I, I think the Sony a6500 is a really good camera if you're looking into it. So don't underestimate what the Sony a6500 can do. If you have any other questions about this camera, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to share more thoughts with you and make a video of any questions that you guys have. So that's about it, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.